as we get closer to the holidays, state officials are concerned about the growing number of COVID cases. The latest two day tally by the Pennsylvania Department of Health reports 11,837 new positive cases. State health officials said new projections predict 22,000 new COVID cases per day in December. New targeted mitigation efforts and measures include enforcement plans aimed at chronic violators. And they're also beefing up efforts to ensure schools are safe and ending alcohol sales for on-site consumption at bars, restaurants and catered events at 5 p.m. Wednesday night only. Now the latest mitigation efforts are all coming down to prevent further spread of the virus. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forback is live for us to break down some of those developments tonight. Caroline. Well, Nick, new health department orders and stronger enforcements coming out of the governor's press conference today. The administration is suspending alcohol sales on the night before Thanksgiving, which is traditionally one of the biggest drinking nights of the year. Between 5 p.m. Wednesday and 8 a.m. Thursday, bars and restaurants cannot serve beer and liquor. The Department of Health issued a stay-at-home order effective today. It's an advisory, not a shutdown, according to the governor. The order is for Pennsylvanians to stay at home unless absolutely necessary. In order to stay safe, ought to stay home. It's vital that every single Pennsylvanian takes these mitigation steps seriously. Because what we have to keep in mind is that when we talk about COVID, a number is not just a number, it represents a person. announced a new enforcement plan that includes liability protection for businesses enforcing the now strengthened mask order. A lot of updates coming out today will help you break it all down on Eyewitness News. For now, reporting live here in Wilkes-Barre, Caroline Forbach, back to you.